What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeMo.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Wednesday, March 3rd. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when this and all of our other content goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman, so you can get updates to my sim results as we get closer to lock. And finally, let me know in the comment section who is your favorite and least favorite of my contenders for today. We're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Kyle Lowry, Montrez Harrell, Terrence Davis, Justin Patton, and Chris Boucher. Boy, that's gross. Lots of weird news today. We had a lot of guys out. No LeBron. Half of Toronto is not available today. It's going to get a it's going to be a weird one and we're only going to see more and more news throughout the day. So, buckle up and make sure you're following me on Twitter for the updates. Let's move on to the contenders. Number five, we're going to DeAndre Bembry. Small forward eligibility, just 3,700, projected for 22.5 fantasy points. The goal is 35. He's in the optimal lineup 21% of the time. We're talking 30 minutes of a .75 guy. Minimal usage, 14%. Nine points, four boards, three and a half assists, two stocks. Slight pace down spot against the Pistons, but I think Bembry's going to see as many minutes as he can handle today. 30 actually feels like it could be low, given the fact that there's no Van Vliet, no OG, no Siakam. Bembry works in a lot of lineup configurations because he can guard up and down the positional spectrum. He can kind of play where everybody else isn't, and that is going to help him pick up minutes today. It's not going to be a fun roster. That's what happens when you get guys that are at like 0.7, but against the Pistons with Dennis Smith Jr. or Saban Lee running the point guard spot, I could see turnovers being a little higher. That's something that would play into Bembry's hands. You're looking for extra stocks to really push him above but 3700 for a guy that's going to likely be starting and playing north of 30 minutes, it's a value play you can't get away from today. Sticking around in Toronto, Norm Powell, shooting guard, small forward eligibility. Yes, you know how much I love it. $6,700 salary, 36 and a half fantasy point projection. The goal is 45. He's in the optimal lineup 22% of the time. Now again, no Van Vliet, Siakam, OG. Norm Powell's going to have his hands full. 36 minutes at one fantasy point per minute. We're talking 27% usage, huge scoring, 24 points, four boards, two and a half assists, maybe a stock and a half. Same matchup against the Pistons as DeAndre Bembry has, but there's nobody checking him here. And if Jeremy Grant happens to be out, it becomes an even better matchup. Norm Powell and Kyle Lowry are going to have carte blanche to do whatever they want for this team. They're the elder statesmen, huge usage. We're going to see it all from those two guys. But I think Norm Powell, because of that shooting guard small forward eligibility, is going to be an essential piece on DraftKings tonight. Next up at number three, we're going to Dennis Schroeder. Point guard and shooting guard eligibility, 5,900. Projected for 35 and a half. The goal is 43. He's in the optimal lineup 23% of the time. Huge minutes. This is going to be his team tonight. No LeBron, no AD. So 34 minutes at 1.14 fantasy, no, 1.04 fantasy points per minute. Got it. 25% usage, close to 19 points, almost seven assists, four boards, slight pace up spot against Sacramento. And Sacramento's defense is terrible. This is a fantastic spot for Schroeder with those two guys out, particularly LeBron at this point. Dennis Schroeder would be like 7K if... Uh, LeBron and AD were out for an extended amount of time. His price would skyrocket. We're not going to see that, so we just have to grab the value now. Excellent cash play, excellent GPP play, no way around it. Dennis Schroeder running the show for the Lakers tonight, number three contender. And we're staying in LA, number two, power forward eligibility. How he doesn't have center eligibility too, I don't understand. 3,700 for Markeith Morris. 24 and a half fantasy point projection. Goal is 35. Optimal lineup 26% of the time. Talking about 0.8 fantasy points per minute. I assume he gets to start and plays huge minutes. I'm giving him 30. 16% usage, 11 points, six boards. Fairly pedestrian stat line, but he's 3,700 and likely a 30 minute starter today with LeBron out. Same matchup as Schroeder, so slight pace up spot. Terrible defense. I know Markeith Morris isn't going to be worried about Bagley guarding him for 30 minutes. Not even remotely close. You can't get away here. This is cash game value. Probably a cash game lock. FanDuel, DraftKings, doesn't matter. It's really hard to get away from Markeith Morris today because 30 minutes at 3,700, you don't really need all that much. If he even just hits his projection at 24 and a half, you're going to be in really good shape. There's too much value on the Lakers. There's too much value on the Raptors. You're going to have a lot of them. It's going to be really sad when one of them busts. 
Now, before we get to my number one contender, one last reminder, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when this and all of our other content goes live. Do not forget, you got to follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. It's the only place that you can get updates to my sim results as we get closer to lock. But don't forget, I also need you to hop into the comment section and let me know who's your favorite and least favorite of my contenders. A lot of choices on this slate. And finally, the number one contender on DraftKings today, Taylor Horton Tucker, small forward eligibility, just 3,400. I've got him projected for 25 fantasy points. The goal is 34. He's in the optimal lineup 39% of the time. So he's normally a 0.94 fantasy point per minute guy. I give him a little bit of a bump, so we're going to call it 1.05. I'm only giving him 24 minutes right now. I think that he could play up to 30 with LeBron James out today. 23% usage, 12 points, 3.5 rebounds, 3.5 assists, 2 stocks. Same matchup against Sacramento as Morris and Schroeder and Montrez Harrell, who I didn't talk about, but is number 9. It's just value galore on the Lakers. So many guys below 4K. Taylor Horton Tucker filling a position that is, generally speaking, a little bit more difficult to fill. But 3,400, that's a no-brainer. You can't go a, a different direction here, especially for someone that's basically a fantasy point-per-minute guy and has the upside to play 30 minutes. And if he plays 30 minutes, he should probably be in 100% of your lineups. You have to have a ton of Taylor Horton Tucker. First guy in in a cash game, in my opinion. One of the first guys you're putting in in a GPP. Just keep an eye on the ownership. That's what matters in a GPP. If he's super duper highly owned, you could probably find other value on the Lakers. But otherwise, you should have a large amount of Taylor Horton Tucker today. I hope he starts. I have no idea what that Lakers starting lineup is going to look like. So we will have to wait for that. And that's going to be some late swappy type news because they lock at 10. But for now, Taylor Horton Tucker, the number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Wednesday, March 3rd. We back again tomorrow with another edition of Contenders plus the process, but that's for the final time before the All-Star break. Nothing on Friday. We're done for a couple days after that. So one more day this week of Contenders and process and strategy show and live before lock because I'm on it all today. I'm on it all tomorrow. You can't get away from me. Good luck tonight, everybody. I'll talk to you again tomorrow morning.